Have you ever wanted to change the shape of a graphic inside Canva, but you could not for the life of you work out how to do it? This tutorial is going to show you a few little workarounds to make that happen. So hi, if we haven't met before, my name is Jackie and I am a graphic designer who loves teaching business owners how they can create their own incredible brand and graphics on Canva. And today we're going to look right into Canva and solve the problem of changing the colors of graphics you can't just naturally change the colors of. So pretend you're inside Canva and potentially you've gone to the elements section, you're trying to find a graphic. For example, I'm going to type in here cockatoo because... I just saw a picture of a cockatoo and I was like, let's just do that. Now, lots of these graphics here, if I was to insert them into my design, you'll see that I actually can't change the color of them. There's some that you can and there's some that you can't. There's just the nature of the graphics that are inside Canva is that some are SVG files that are able to be color changeable and some are files that you can't change the color of. So the way that you can know if you can change a color really easily inside Canva is if you click on the graphic and colors appear at this top bit. If colors are not appearing for you, that means that that graphic can't be changed easily. But I'm going to show you how you can work around that in this tutorial. So say, for example, this other cockatoo I found, you can see that colors appear up the top here, which means that I can change the color. So I can click on any of these colors and choose a different color and it will change the color of that graphic. I'm doing horrible colors right now, but just to illustrate my point, you can change those colors to anything at all. And so what do you do if you find a graphic or you've imported a graphic that you want to change the color of, but you can't just go click, click, click and change the colors really easily. There are two main ones I want to share with you. Both of them have their own limitations, but they are really helpful if you've got no other option. So the first option is called Duotone. So if I click on the shape here, you can see that it's selected by knowing that this purple box is surrounding it. If you go up here into the edit section, click on that, it will reveal the side panel here to edit the photo. What you want to do is find under the effects panel here, the Duotone feature. If I click on this Duotone feature, it will reveal a whole different plethora of ways that we can change these colors. Don't worry if you don't like any of these colors, it doesn't actually matter. We can edit these to be whatever we want. So I'm just going to click on any of them. It literally does not matter which one and it's going to apply those colors. But what you'll see here is opens up some editing features for us here. We've got the option to change the highlights and the shadows of this image. So it means the light sections and the dark sections of this image, we can tweak the colors of. So I'm going to go ahead and change the highlights here to a kind of a white kind of color because that's what it originally was and I want it to kind of stay that way. But what I do want to change is maybe that yellow bit. So this was the original, original cockatoo. I want to change these yellow sections to maybe a purple to match my branding. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to change the shadows into a purple kind of color. Now it's not going to get hex code perfect to your perfect color, but it is going to get close and that's sometimes the best thing we can do. So I'm going to click on the shadows here and change this color to being whatever I want it to be. So if I move this slider along here, I can change it to whatever kind of color. If I wanted to, I could paste in a hex code. It's not going to apply that hex code perfectly because it's actually working with the colors that were already there as well and the tones of those to apply. So I'm going to choose just manually by moving around this little uh, dropper here and seeing if I can find something that feels really close. So this is looking nice. If I go down, it's a little bit too dark. But if I go down here, it's way just this gray. I'm just going to move it around until I'm happy with what it's doing here. I'm going to move it to blue section so it's a bit more blue to match my brand color purple and bring that up here. Awesome. And so if I was to delete the purple here, you could actually see it a little bit more, but it's changed all of the dark sections of that image, all of the shadowy sections to the color that I wanted it to be. So you can see if I compare these two, you can see it's got these dark feet, dark beak, dark cheek and dark back. And I've changed all of those sections to being more in that purple tone. So that's your first way of changing colors is that duo tone feature. But obviously you're only ever going to be able to change two colors, the lights and the darks, and it's going to kind of merge in together. This is really helpful though if you have one thing like even with this graphic here, say I wanted it to be a silhouette instead, I could go back to that duo tone feature and just change both of these colors to be the same color. So if I click on this and just make it dark and I click on this and make it dark, I've now got a beautiful silhouette. So if you're just wanting to change things into even one color, this is a great tool for doing that and I highly recommend using duo tone to make things into just one flat color. The other hack I want to show you is inside this edit feature. So go into edit again and instead of going down to the effects section here, I want to go up into the adjust panel here. If I go to adjust, I can change things a little bit with these temperature map balances. So if I go here to make it colder, it's making this design more blue or more orange. And similarly, I can make it more green or more purple. But if this isn't hitting your mark, you can also have a different section down here. So if I scroll all the way down to color edit, what Canva is going to do is pick up some of the main colors inside this design. It won't pick up all of the colors if you've got like a really, really colorful design, but it should pick up the key ones. And you can actually tweak these as well. Again, we can't make them a hex code perfect, but we can make them as close as we can. So I'm going to click on the orange here and I want to change this to again, my brand purple. So you can see I've got the options for hue, saturation and brightness. So the hue changes the colors, the saturation changes how bright that, that those colors are and the brightness changes how light the colors are. You'll see when I apply them here. So I'm going to grab this slider. I'm going to drag it closer 
to the purple section here. <laughs> and you can see that it's working because I now can't see the head of my cockatoo. So I'm going to actually leave it this way because I know this is actually spot on to my brand purple. But say that I wanted this to be a little bit brighter or a little bit darker, I could then grab the saturation and bring that all the way up. And I could grab that brightness and make it brighter or I could bring it darker to kind of bring it onto that to contrast it to my background color. So you can see that's a really easy way to change those colors. Just for fun, I'm going to change the blue as well. Let's make this. You can see that um, it's not changing it very much because it wasn't a very saturated color to begin with. It was quite a muted blue. So actually, if I bring this saturation up, it's going to bring it a little bit brighter, but not really. There's not a lot of pool that we have here. So you can see that's not a great option. I'm going to try this color here and you can see that's also wanting to change the, the, the little head of the cockatoo. Um, so for me, this one was, 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 was bang on, but the other ones aren't so great. So just knowing that if you're wanting to change a color, sometimes it's not going to do it perfectly, but it is a really great tool. If there is one part of a part of a graphic that you want to change the color of, say for example, too, I've got this graphic here that I've made in the past, but what if I can't change the colors, but I want to change them now? Again, I could go to the edit tool. I could go to adjust go down to my color edit and you can see here that it's picked up that green and that purple. And so I could change these to suits. So say I wanted to make this green now. I'm gonna, it's a bit tricky sometimes. It's spot on with this color, color section. Sometimes it's a little bit off. So kind of work on watching this section rather than the slider to see what color you're creating. So say I wanna make this a little bit more, less saturated or I could make a floor. I'm gonna go less saturated and maybe I want a little bit darker. And you can kind of just move things around to suit exactly as you want. So there's kind of changed that purple now in the middle to being green. And say now I want to change this green to being a different color. I can also grab this slider and change it around. So now it's gone a bit more purple. There we go. Maybe bring the saturation up a little bit. Maybe bring the brightness up a little bit. And now I can just edit it a little bit more. Maybe go this kind of purple. And I've kind of just swapped the colors around from what they originally were from being purple to green to green to purple. So if you're ever needing to change those colors, these are the two ways that you can use. So duotone, so going in and changing the lights and darks, so the highlights and the shadows of a particular image or using the color edit section in the adjust panel. So I hope you found that really helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And if you are in the business of finding out more about how you can use Canva really strategically, making sure that you save time, not going around in circles trying to work things out for yourself, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I would love to share with you even more Canva tutorials. And by the way, if you have a small business and you are trying to use Canva for your business, but you're finding it really tricky to do it alone, I have a course. It's called DIY Design My Biz. And pretty much it goes through all the learnings you need to know around Canva, but also how to actually use design principles and use design strategically to create a really magnetic brand for your, for your business and to make sure your graphics are communicating and looking professional and doing justice to your business. You can also get some support from me inside a Facebook group and on live calls. So if that's something that sounds right up your alley. I'm going to pop the link below so you can check that out as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.